Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are tackling a question many of you have asked. How much load can a 1 kilowatt solar power system handle? Let's break it down step by step, no jargon, just clear answers. Section 1. What is a 1 kilowatt solar system? A 1 kilowatt solar system generates up to 1000 watts of power in perfect sunlight. But real world factors matter. Location, weather and panel angle all affect output. For example, Arizona gets more sun than Seattle. Section 2. Daily energy production. Let's calculate daily energy. If your area gets 5 peak sun hours, your system produces 1 kilowatt times 5 hours equals 5 kilowatt hours per day. But this varies. Sunny regions might get 6 to 7 hours, cloudy areas 3 to 4. Check your local sun hours. Section 3. What can you power? Your system can handle up to 1000 watts at once. Let's see what that covers. LED lights, 10 watts each. 10 lights equals 100 watts. Ceiling fan, 50 watts. Two fans equals 100 watts. TV, 100 watts. Plus laptop, 50 watts. 150 watts. Refrigerator, 150 watts. Cycles, on off. Total daytime load, around 500 watts. You've got room to spare. But if you add a 1000 watt microwave, you'd hit the limit. Balance your usage. Section 4. Batteries and inverters. Need power at night? Add batteries. A 5 kilowatt hour battery stores your day's energy. And your inverter? Size it to handle surges, like a fridge starting up. A 1.5 kilowatt inverter is safer for a 1 kilowatt system. Section 5. Efficiency tips. Boost efficiency. 1. Use energy-efficient appliances. Look for Energy Star. 2. Stagger high-wattage devices. Don't run microwave plus hair dryer together. 3. Clean panels regularly. Dirt cuts output. 4. Angle panels correctly for your location. Components and specifications. 1. Solar panels. Specs. 4. X250 watt panels. 1 kilowatt total. 24 volt system. Each panel approximately 30 volts. Open circuit voltage 8.5 amps, short circuit current. Type monocrystalline, efficient, space saving. 2. Inverter specs 1.5 kilowatt pure sine wave. Inverter 24 volt input. Surge capacity 3 kilowatts for motor startups like fridges. Output 120 volts slash 230 volts. AC 3. Charge controller specs 40 amp MPPT charge controller matches 24 volt system. Handles up to 1.2 kW solar input. Why MPPT? Better efficiency than PWM, especially in cloudy weather. Fourth, batteries. Specs. 2 times 12 volts, 200 amp hours. Deep cycle batteries, wired in series for 24 volts. Total storage, 4.8 kW hours, 24 volts times 200 amp hours. 5. AC-DC distribution. AC distribution box. 6 circuit breaker panel for lights, fans, outlets. DC distribution box. 12 volts slash 24 volts fuse box for DC loads like LED strips. 6. Wiring and safety. Solar cable 10 AWG for low loss over distance. Battery cables 20 AWG thick for high current. Uses breakers. 40 amps between panels and controller. 150 amps on battery bank. Step-by-step -step wiring guide. Step 1. Series connection for voltage. Wire two panels in series. Each panel operates at 30 volts. Connecting them in series yields 60 volts total, 30 volts plus 30 volts. This ensures sufficient voltage for a 24-volt battery bank when using an MPPT charge controller, which efficiently steps down voltage while increasing current. Current remains the same in series, if each panel has a rated current of 10 amps, the series pair remains at 10 amps. Parallel connection for current. Connect pairs in parallel. For two series pairs, each 60 volts, 10 amps. Paralleling them maintains 60 volts, but sums the current to 20 amps. 10 amps plus 10 amps. This keeps amperage manageable for wiring and components. Components and wiring. MC4. Connectors. Use these industry standard connectors for secure weatherproof connections between panels. 10 AWG cables, suitable for handling up to 30 amps in free air. 
For a 20 ampere combined current, 10 American wire gauge minimizes voltage drop over typical distances, e.g. less than 3% drop over 20 feet. Step 2. Connect panels to charge controller. Panels. Solar input terminals. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Add a 40 amp DC breaker between panels and controller. Step 3. Connect batteries. Wire the 212 volt batteries in series positive of BAT1 to negative of BAT2 equals 24 volts. Connect battery bank to the charge controller's battery terminals. Step 4. Inverter and AC distribution. Connect inverter to battery bank 24 volt input. Wire inverter's AC output to the AC distribution panel with circuit breakers for each appliance. Step 5. DC Distribution Box Connect charge controller's load terminals to the DC fuse box for DC appliances, e.g. lights. Step 6. Grounding Ground panels, inverter and charge controller to a copper rod, safety first. Example Setup Here's how it works. 1. Sun hits panels. DC power to charge controller. Second controller charges batteries plus powers, DC loads. 3. Inverter converts 24 volts, DC to 120 volts, AC for household devices. Fourth, AC slash DC distribution splits power safely to appliances. Efficiency tips. Maximize your 1 kilowatt system. Use thin short cables to reduce power loss. Angle panels toward the sun. Tilt equals your latitude. Add more batteries later if you need extra storage. Conclusion and that's your DIY 1 kilowatt solar system. With the right components and wiring, you can power essentials and more. Questions? Drop them below. If this helped, smash that like button, subscribe and share with a friend. Stay sunny, folks.